Okay. Could we talk about Mutale Mwanza's recent faux pas for a moment? The word faux pas means mistake or gaffe or blunder. You remember a few nights ago at the Diamond TV Awards, Mutale Mwanza was presented with an award uh, that was given to her by Mr. Sean Tembo and his wife. Mutale proceeded to walk over to the stage. She walked up the steps, embraced Mr. Sean Tembo while scantily clad. And rule number one, never embrace a married man in front of his wife in the way that Mutale Mwanza did. It's just in bad taste. Then Mutale Mwanza turns around and then she uses a, the F word. Now, I realize that to many of you, the F word is not a repulsive word because you use it. It's part of your vocabulary. Some of you, uh, if someone says to you, don't talk like that, you would look at them like a calf looking at a new gate. It's strange to you that there are people out there that don't speak like that. But let me submit to you that the F word is not socially acceptable. This is the reason they don't teach it in school. There is no English class that I could think of where the teacher stands in front of the classroom and says, today we're going to learn how to use the F word. Nobody does that because it's socially unacceptable. So here it is, you have a lady who knows that the F word, especially here in our Zambian context, uses it on television. But most importantly, Aside from all that, aside from the F word, aside from the drunken antics, aside from, 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 from all those things that she does on, on Facebook, how do you think her son feels? That's the question I'd like to ask. Well, I'll tell you exactly how he feels. He feels embarrassed. It embarrasses him. What son do you know is comfortable with seeing his mother always half-dressed on, on Facebook, doing somersaults in a swimsuit with her legs wide open, uh, standing up in front of a television camera on live television using the F word. How do you think her son feels? I'll tell you how he feels. He feels embarrassed. He does. He feels embarrassed. Now, I know that there's some of you that will sit there on your high horse and you will talk about how Miss Damwewa, it's her life. She does what she wants to do. Yeah, it's her life. But it comes at a great price because her son bears the brunt of her, of, 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 of her life. Her son, Mutalimwanza's son, bears the brunt of her antics. What son do you know? What teenager do you know that walks around with his head high, knowing that his mother is, is half-dressed on social media, cusses up a storm, is drunk on social media? Is, which, which son do you know is proud of that? I can't think of one. And before you start saying, well, Mr. Mwewa, nobody's perfect. We're not talking about perfection. We're talking about responsibility. My word of, of advice to Mutale Mwanza is this. You need to start thinking about your son and how this affects him. Forget us. Forget your audience. Think about your son, Mutale. Think about your boy. And think about how all of this affects him. Nobody will tell you. I will.